terrible. It felt like somebody had a, a, a razor box cutter cutting at my nipples every time he sucked. And then when I kissed him, I can feel the blood in his mouth. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be on nipple guards, nipple shields, protecting your boobs while breastfeeding. So if you want to see more, please stay tuned. But before we get started, please subscribe down below. Okay guys, so if you are watching this video, it is because your breast hurt, you can't take it anymore, you have cried, you have complained, but most importantly, you want to feed your baby, but it's just too painful. So you are looking into buying nipple shields and seeing if they are worth it. And from my own personal experience, twice, they are definitely worth it and I would definitely suggest you go ahead and buy some. Um, the ones that I have, I will leave it right here and I'll leave it in the description box down below. I'll leave that link for you so you can go ahead and purchase it, but uh, purchase at your own discretion. There's a lot of different types on Amazon. That's where I purchased mine and I know there's other websites that you can get yours from. This is not a paid sponsorship. I just wanna help you guys. First of all, this is a nipple guard that I had, it came in this cute case so that um, you don't lose them. And it came with two. And they look like this. And they're half cut. So I'm going to show you how to put them on. So first of all, what you wanna do is, don't worry about that stain. You're gonna grab your boob I'm not gonna grab mine, and you're going to squeeze milk into it. You want, what squeezing your milk is, is gonna lube it up. Your milk is the best lubricant, guys. That's the best thing for these nipple guards. Don't use water, use your own breast milk, because your baby's gonna be drinking it anyway. And then when you get it, you're gonna squeeze your boob. And you're gonna stick it in there as if you are sticking it into your baby's mouth. Um, first, before you do that, you want to you want to open it up a little bit, like this. If you can't really see, I'll try to insert some pictures here. Um, but what this is doing is going is going to make it have a better suction around your nipple. Now, ladies, if I don't know if I'm the only one, but when we started breastfeeding our nipples got bigger like my nipples got so much freaking bigger they look like freaking gum drops. they really do like they're the size of gum drops. they're that big and that's why i don't feel comfortable showing my boobs to you guys because uh -uh. yeah they're they're, they're big <laughs> so yeah you want to um bend it fold it over like so and then you want to Put your nipple inside and cuff it in like that. These saved my life with my son. I had the worst, I don't know how to pronounce it, but y'all know that M word, M A Titus, something, menstitis. I had that. My baby also got thrush. My baby, um, and I breastfed 100%, so I don't understand why he got thrush, but I think it was because I had menstitis, menstitis. Leave it in the comment box down below. I don't know how to pronounce it. I went to my lactation nurse. Um, I cried. I had uh, the let me let me let me explain to you guys what these did for my life. Um, I had cracked nipples. I had bleeding nipples. Um, I guess my baby was not latched on correctly. So guys, please, please. Make sure your baby is latched on correctly because it's the worst pain in life. I remember being at Disneyland and my son was six months old. And my son was six months old and um, I was crying in line and because I had to feed him. But it was so painful, you guys. The pain was unbearable. It felt like somebody had a, a, a razor box cutter cutting at my nipples every time he sucked. And then when I kissed him, I can feel the blood in his mouth. Like I knew I was bleeding, but my baby was hungry. Like he was crying so hard. So I didn't know what, I didn't know what to do. Worst pain ever, worst pain ever. Like darn near close to labor pains, you guys. So these nipple shields really did the trick. They really freaking helped me. Also when my lactation nurse um, provided well suggested was 
to use nipple cream. I mean, it's supposed to soothe and protect. Let me feed her, guys. I'm gonna feed her. As y'all know, mommies, babies are unpredictable. My lactation nurse suggested using this, not this particular brand. You don't have to get this particular brand, I think. Somebody bought this for me. Yeah. Um, but I also use that with my other baby. I mean, it 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 does a job, it helps. It's supposed to soothe and protect your nipples, but you guys listen to me when I tell you nothing worked for me until I went to the doctor and he actually diagnosed me and I had to use the medicine. So what happens is you get um when you get diagnosed with that M word. You have to give it to your the medicine to your baby for seven days and you give it to yourself. You also gotta put it on your own nipples and you also have to sterilize everything that they use. Like these will have to be sterilized after each use because you don't want the bacteria to be on this and then put it in the baby's mouth and then they get it again. You know, it's a repeating cycle. So um, make sure you sterilize everything when you do have it. Oh, guys, it's painful okay it's not fun to have I wouldn't risk it on my worst enemy so buying these nipple guards really freaking helped I also heard babies um with tongue tie make you get sore boobs because they they aren't able to latch on correctly these nipple guards really help with that as far as latching if you want to be an exclusively breastfeeding mom up until she was two weeks i think that i had it like you can self-diagnose yourself for sure like if you have pain if it's like you because we get engorged let me let me explain let me explain this so when we get engorged like when you first have your baby your boobs get really really big and filled with milk so you get engorged and then you have some backup backed up ducts like so it it causes pain and my Oh man, my back even hurts. It's just very, very uncomfortable. So that's where hand expressions come in. And that's gonna be for another video, guys. A hand expression for another video. So if you wanna see that, give me a big thumbs up, please. Yeah, guys, as far as these nipple guards, make sure you purchase them. As I swear by these, it relieves so much pain, so much tension on your boob and the baby think they're drinking from you and they're actually drinking from a nipple guard um they're soft they're flexible like like these are golden they are so golden guys i love them love 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 and then they have little holes of course so that your milk can come out and they get your milk it's the same thing as breastfeeding like same exact thing. These are from Adela. And I love them, man. I love these. Like, I actually cried when I used it for the first time because of the pain I was in and then the relief that came with using these. Heaven sent. You know what? It's crazy because I was like, dang, somebody need to invent something that I could cover my boob up with but my baby still could eat. Looked on Amazon and Amazon has everything everything things that i could think of that i want to invent it's already there it's crazy it's mind -blowing. but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel that's that's number one please subscribe to my channel if you want more breastfeeding videos and i will be back with more peace